Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of the John Morris Show. So this is kind of interesting to me. You know, a lot of times, and I talked about this in yesterday's video, when people start out getting into this web development thing, learning how to code, learning PHP or whatever it is, there's, they're a lot like how kind of maybe me now having been at this for, what, 12 years or whatever, someone who's not a coder, they're kind of non-techy, kind of the mindset that that person has and the way I look at that, a lot of new coders actually have kind of that similar mindset in terms of, you know, am I smart enough to learn this sort of thing? You know, can, can I figure this tech stuff out as a two? They have all these ideas about what it is that aren't necessarily accurate. And it leads to, again, what we talked about yesterday, which is a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, the am I smart enough stuff, all of that. And as I mentioned, getting through that is the most important first thing that you should be focusing on. But as you go, if you stick with it, there will come a moment when all of that kind of changes. And for me, I remember my first time like it was yesterday. Not that first time, you dirty mind. But for me, it was uploading files via PHP. Now, for some reason, it just seemed like magic to me. And I couldn't get my head around how simple it actually was. Like, I had this preconceived notion that that was going to be something that was super complicated and difficult to do and required all this sort of magic. And it didn't. And that was really the first time I thought, huh, I guess I'm a developer now because I can do that thing that I thought was magic and it's really not magic at all. It's pretty simple and easy. So it could be that. It could be forms. It could be databases, sessions, cookies. I don't know. I think it's different for every developer, but there's always a moment. It's that moment in every developer's career where they look at something and say, I did that. And from then on, everything seems to change. Your confidence, your commitment to this, your real, real, realizing how simple this all actually is. That moment is you turning a corner. And again, getting through the doubt and the fear and all the insecurities and uncertainties and so forth at the beginning and getting to that point, that moment where you turn that corner is the only thing that you should focus on. And so that's why I brought up yesterday, it's so important what you learn in the beginning. And understand, it's not about learning a thousand different things. It's about learning a very specific set of things to get you to that point. To learn things that will eradicate those preconceived notions, those insecurities, those doubts, those fears, and have you much quicker look back and go, huh, all that stuff that I thought was just going to be super complicated and was magical and all this, I've literally learned how to do all of it. And it's all actually really simple. Like what will shock you? If you don't know how to do any of this stuff yet, what will shock you is how simple it all actually is and how arbitrary it is, how it's just we decided to do it this way. Like we could have decided a thousand different ways to do it, but the people who wrote PHP decided to do it this way. And okay, that's the way we do it. Like a lot of coding is that way. If you ever want to go down a rabbit hole in terms of just how arbitrary this all is, go look up how the image tag in HTML came about. If that doesn't show you how just arbitrary it is, <laughs> Uh, I don't know what will, but it really is. And so again, just getting to that moment where it's like you, you have this realization that it's all a lot simpler than you thought. It's a lot easier than you thought. And there actually is no magic. And you can, you can really do this because it's not as complicated as you might think. So again, getting to that point, in my opinion, is the very first thing that you should focus on. Now, of course, you know me. Mr. Pitchy Pitcherton, if you want to get there faster than usual, that's what module two of my PHP 101 course is for. It is uploading files, it's creating folders, it's sending emails, it's sessions, it's cookie, and a whole bunch more of this kind of magical stuff. Again, 
I built this course in a very particular way. And so module two is basically the magic module. It's where we learn all of this stuff that you think is impossible, that you think is difficult, that you think is really hard to do and learn. And I show you how just dead simple it all actually is. And I feel like by the time you get through module one, where you learn the basics and you're like, okay, that's not that hard. And then you learn all this more advanced stuff that seems magical. And you're like, okay, that was really simple. That's That to me is designed to create that turning point for you, that moment for you to look back and go, wow, that's a lot simpler than I thought. And I can really do this and create that confidence, that commitment, that 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 real realization of how simple it is. That's how this is designed. So again, I did this in a very specific way. But again, all of that's in module two. And who knows, maybe you will feel like a magician once you get through it. Anyway, right now I'm running a special where you can get $20 off of the, the entire course. That's modules one through three. This is a limited time offer. It will end probably somewhere around the end of this month. I got to sign on a exact date, but somewhere around the end of this month. So you want to make sure and jump on that right away. Again, the link is johnmorrisonline.com slash special to get 20 bucks off the course. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Again, thanks for listening. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you next time.